Hello third graders and welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson, we are going to introduce our new vocabulary words of the new story, outdoor spaces and public places. So let us begin. To begin with, we are going to go over context clues, which are very, very important clues or hints that help me figure out the meaning of an unknown word within a text. Now, there are different types of context clues within a sentence or a paragraph that help me understand what an unknown word means. The first context clue is definitions. A definition is the meaning of a word. Now, sometimes the author gives you the definition or the meaning of the word within the sentence or paragraph. Here's an example. Mr. Fry is an affable principal. He is pleasantly easy to approach and always friendly. The definition of the word affable is friendly. Okay, moving on to the second context clue. Synonyms. Mr. Fry is quite affable. In fact, he reminds me of Miss Baker. Do you remember how kind she was? Synonyms are words that have the same or a similar meaning. The words affable and kind are synonyms because they have a similar meaning. Number three. Antonyms. Antonyms are words that have opposite meanings, such as happy and sad. Here's an example. I miss Mr. Fry. Our new principal is cranky and unapproachable. Mr. Fry was so affable. So, the words cranky and unapproachable are antonyms of the word affable, which means kind. Number four, examples. Now, sometimes they give you examples on the word itself in order to help you understand what it means. Here is an example. Mr. Fry is an affable principal. He knows everybody's name. If you have a problem, talk to him. So some examples on the word affable are, he knows everybody's name, and if you have a problem, talk to him. Our last context clue or hint that helps me figure out or understand what a word means is the use of inferences. I need to use my prior knowledge and my understanding of this sentence in order to figure out what the word means. So if you read the sentence itself, you will be able to infer or use your analytical skills in order to understand what the word means. Here's a sentence. You don't need to worry about talking to Mr. Fry. He is an affable principal. So by reading the first sentence, you don't need to worry about talking to Mr. Fry. I could tell that affable means that he is a friendly person. Well done, little ones. Now, let's apply our understanding on context clues on the following sentences. Let us first begin with skyscraper. A skyscraper is a very tall building with many floors. If you've been to Dubai or New York, I'm sure that you've seen many, many skyscrapers in the streets. Here's a sentence. The buildings are small in comparison to the skyscrapers in New York. You can tell the difference in size by looking at them. I used inferences in this sentence in order to know what the word skyscrapers means. Okay, because seeing the buildings in New York, I can tell that they're very tall buildings in comparison to other buildings that are small. So I understood that skyscrapers are very tall buildings. I can tell the difference in size by comparing regular buildings with skyscrapers. Our second word is engineer. An engineer is a person who designs and builds machines, engines, or public work. Here's a sentence and try to figure out which context clue I used to know what the word engineer means. The engineer was able to fix the machine because he was the one to sketch, design, and build it. Which context clues did I use in this sentence to know what the word engineer means? Did I use synonyms? Antonyms? And friends, or maybe examples. Well done to the students who said examples. An engineer sketches, designs, and builds. These are examples of an engineer's work. Well done. Moving on to the word scenery. Scenery is the natural feature of an outdoor area. Here's a sentence. The magnificent scenery of the lake made us gaze for a whole hour. So scenery means natural features of an outdoor area. Moving on to the word design. Design means to create a plan to build and manufacture. Take a look at the image. 
This man is designing something. He is sketching and creating a plan to build and manufacture. Here's a sentence. The interior designer designed or planned a stunning house with beautiful details. Over here, the words designed and planned are synonyms. They have a similar meaning. So design means to create a plan to build and manufacture. Our last word for today is resident. Residents are people who live in a place. Here's a sentence. The residents or the people living in the building made complaints about the loud noise. Hmm, which context clues did I use to figure out what the word residents means? Did I use synonyms, antonyms, or opposites? Examples, definitions, what do you think, little ones? Well done to the students who said definition. The definition of the word residence is right next to it in the sentence. Residence means the people who live in the building, people who live in the same place. I hope you understood the new words, little ones. Now make sure to choose three words and write a meaningful sentence on each.